Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Here's a quick tutorial to hit the ground running and learn how to use InDesign for your assignment or project. Let's open InDesign. We will do the basics only, so no styles or anything too fancy. You'll be learning keyboard shortcuts today to help you speed up your workflow. The command key is for the Mac, the control key is for the PC. Before we get started, the default status in InDesign is typical display for displaying images. This works great for those who have a slower computer. It means your images that are placed in the file will look pixelated. If you want to see the non-pixelation, change the setting from View, Display Performance to High Quality Display. First, let's create a new doc. Keyboard shortcut, Command N for a Mac or Control N for a PC. We will save this file, Command S for a Mac or Control S for a PC. We will name the InDesign file as Sample or any other name, and we will keep it as an InDesign file. I know this will sound weird, but please close this file and reopen it. Command W to close on a Mac or Control W for a PC. Now reopen the sample InDesign file. Command O for the Mac or Control O for the PC. You have learned the first four things you typically do when working with InDesign. To add text to your file, we need to draw a text box with a type tool, which looks like letter T. I will start at the top margin and click and drag a text box. With the text cursor blinking inside the newly created text box, go ahead and add some type. We can change the font by highlighting the text. If you double click, one word will be selected. Triple click selects the whole line. Use either the control panel at the top or the character panel, Command T for a Mac, Control T for a PC. Need a title or a subhead? Click on Enter or Return to start a new paragraph. I will use this part as my title and hit Enter or Return on my keyboard. If you double click, one word will be selected. Triple click selects the whole line. Select the title and color it from the swatches panel. Let's add more text to this document. I'm going to select all the text here. Command A for a Mac, Control A for a PC. Copy it, Command C for a Mac, or Control C for a PC, and paste it. Command V for a Mac, Control V for a PC. We will create a few paragraphs. In the control panel with the type tool selected, you will see character and paragraphs formatting. Switch between the two to see different options from type justification to adding bullets and numbers. Do you want to place an image in your document? With images, get in the good habit to draw a picture box. Picture box will have an X through the rectangle. Click and drag a picture box where you want the image to be. Time to get a photo for your picture box. Ensure the picture frame is still selected. You will know if there are blue squares around your picture box. If not, grab the black arrow to the selection tool to select it. Command D for a Mac or Control D for a PC to place an image. Locate the image that you want, select it, and click on open. If you want to, you can resize the box's appearance and use the direct selection tool, the white arrow in the toolbox. Remember to hold the shift key and grab it by the corner to resize the image proportionally. If the image moves around, place the mouse inside the image to get the hand to move it back in place. Or if you want, you can go to Object, Fitting, and choose any of the formatting fittings for the image. Either method works. To wrap text around the picture, make sure the box is selected. And in the control panel, two icons from FX are the text wrap. To see more options, click on Window, Text Wrap to open the main menu panel. Play around with the wrap options. I do use the offset to give it more breathing room around the image. Are you running out of space on page one? Click on the Pages panel and you should see page one's thumbnail. At the bottom of the panel is a plus sign. Click on this once to get one more page. If you want to duplicate page one, select page one and drag the page to the plus sign. Or use the drop down menu in the Pages panel or right click to see the options to duplicate a spread. If you need to create a table, you could go back to Microsoft Excel to create a table and import it back in. Or we can create a table in InDesign. In the main menu, under Table, Create Table. It's as simple as that. Type in how many rows and columns that you will need. I'm going to go with 4x4 four four with no header or footer. A table icon will appear and click anywhere on your page that you want the table to be placed. Will your table look a bit off? Yes, it will. Use the Type tool, which looks like letter T. Then set my mouse on the line between the two rows to resize the row. If you see the double arrow in black, you can go ahead and resize that row's height as shown. To set rows, place your type tool in the cell and drag it to the right. It will be black, and the go ahead far top right hand corner is the height dimensions. Enter a size here. Mine is set to half an inch. To set multiple rows, place your type tool in the cell and drag it to the right. 
it will be blocked and then go ahead to enter the size too. I will enter the size right here. To format a row's type, select the whole row, place your type tool in the cell and drag it to the right and center the type using the control panel's options, align center and justify center. If you want to color your row, select the row and choose a color from the swatches panel. Type is black and it's too dark against my color background, so I will select my text and change it to a different color to read it. Again, if you double click, one word will be chosen, triple click stops the whole line. I will change this to be white. Let's choose another row. Another way to highlight a row is the same type tool, and this time place the type tool a tad inside the row or column as shown here. An arrow pointing right or down will show. Click once to highlight that row or column. What happens that whole row or column gets selected? I'll choose the third row and color this blue again from the swatches panel, but change the opacity or tint to give us a lighter color. Click off it to see the changes. Change the type in the row if necessary. To insert another row or column in your table, either select a row or column. Right click will give you a different option such as inserting, deleting, merging, or splitting rows or columns. Enter the number that you want and if you, and if you want before or after or left or right. Let's save this again. Command S for a Mac or Control S for a PC. Please keep it on your computer somewhere. If you want to email a PDF, go to File, Export, Command E for a Mac, Control E for a PC for email purposes. Please keep the same file name or rename it to something relevant. Choose your file format and click on Save. Does the InDesign file have a hyperlink? If so, make sure there is a check mark for our hyperlinks. Go through the options and when ready, click on Export. Yes, there are many other cool things in InDesign that we haven't touched on, but this will get you started for the time being. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.